In this lesson, we're going to work on a progression from the song called Walk On Boy. And we're going to learn this today, similar to how Doc Watson played this song. And by the way, if you like the sound of my guitar in this lesson, right now I'm using these strings made by a company called Woodtone. And these are their country series strings. Really like these strings a lot. I think they've got just a really nice, you know, natural and warm tone. Sounds great for playing country and bluegrass. So we'll have a link to these strings below this video if you want to go check them out. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started here with the lesson. I'm going to pull the tablature up on the screen for that progression I just played a sample of. And we're going to work through this tablature in one line at a time. So here's the first line of the tablature. We've got the pick stroke direction symbols above the tablature. And I've also written in the chord that the rhythm will be playing while you're playing this little flat picking solo break type of thing. So let's play through this first line so you can hear it and then I'll break it down for you. <laughs> Let's check out the first measure. The first measure goes like this. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and it's pretty straightforward in this first measure. One, two, three, and four, and... You can pause the video if you want to work on that a little bit. You're ready with this second measure right here. And we're switching to an E major chord. Second measure goes like this. And by the way, we're not holding down a complete E major open chord. I'm just holding my pointer and my middle fingers down right here. The uh, pointer finger is on the third string right there. That's the pointer in the first fret, third string. And then the middle is on the fourth string. Fourth string, second fret. So just those two fingers held down right there. It's kind of the top end of that E major chord. And with the uh, fretting hand, or excuse me, the picking hand, we'll do pick, pick, strum, strum, pick, pick, strum, strum. Pick, pick, strum, strum, pick, pick, strum, strum. Try to avoid hitting that open A string since it doesn't belong with the E major chord. It takes a little pick control to do that. So let's play measures one and two together. So at this point, we've learned measures one and two. To finish up the rest of this line, you know, measures three and four, we're just going to play the exact same thing that we did in measures one and two. So you basically play measures one and two one more time, note for note, measures three and four. So measures three and four, you're going to hear it, it's the exact same. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play through this entire line, measures one through four. One, two, three, four. If you're ready, let's go on to the next line. We got measures five through nine. 
It goes like this. Let's break this down one measure at a time. So let's look at measure five. Measure five, we're holding down two fingers with our fretting hand. We got our pointer finger and our middle finger. Both those pressed down. The pointer finger is on the second string, first fret. So second string, first fret. And then our middle finger is on the third string, second fret right there. So really just worrying about the skinnier three strings. And that's kind of the top end of the A minor chord. So uh, with the picking hand, we're going to do down, 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 strum, strum, down, 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 strum, strum, down, 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 strum, Notice about halfway through that measure on the third down. Down, 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 right there. And you're going to lift up the middle finger of your fretting hand. So lift up that middle to let that, uh, that string rion open, that third string. You hear it? So that's the fifth measure. Going into the sixth measure. Six measure sounds like this. And that's all eighth notes in the sixth measure. So right at the beginning of the sixth measure, we're starting with our middle finger to the open. Middle, so middle, open, middle, pull off, and that pull off is done with the pointer finger. Middle, open, middle, pull off. You land on your ring finger right there. the sixth measure. And right at the end of the sixth measure right there, uh, you see we've got a little hammer on at the end of the sixth measure, hammering into the seventh measure. So you're hammering from that pointer finger to the middle finger right at the beginning of that seventh measure. Hammer pick. We'll get to that seventh measure in one second. But let's play measures five and six one more time all together. Get ready to hammer on into the seventh measure. So let's learn the seventh measure by starting out with that um, first fret right there, that pick on the first fret at the end of the sixth measure. So we're going to start with that note and then uh, hammer into the seventh measure. So take a listen. That's measure seven. about halfway through that seventh measure, we got a triplet, triplet, pull off pick, pulling off with our pointer finger right there, pull off pick, triplet, hammer pick, triplet, hammer pick, triplet, dun 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 dun. Second half of that 
seventh measure, we're just using our ring finger there. For our fretting hand, that ring finger. So, not too bad there. Measure seven, pause if you want to work on that a little bit. Let's play measures five, six, and seven together. And finally, let's go to measures eight and nine right here. So measure eight, we're basically just switching to an A minor open chord right there. And we're gonna do pick, strum, strum, pick, pick, pick. Pick, strum, strum, pick, pick, pick. And that pick, pick, pick at the end and we're doing that on the fifth string. Pick, pick, pick. Um, you can use your ring finger, your fretting hand. You know, if you do the ring finger there, you gotta pull that, lift that ring finger up out of the A minor chord to hit that little pick, pick, pick. So it might not be totally efficient to use the ring finger in uh, measure eight. Pick, strum, strum, pick, pick, pick. What you could do instead, if you want to, maybe is use your pinky there to hit that little pick, 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 while you're still holding down the complete A minor chord. So either way would work just fine though. It's up to you on that. So pick, strum, strum, pick, pick, pick. That's measure eight. Right at the end of measure eight though, uh, where we pick that last open fifth string, we're gonna let that note ring out into measure nine. See in measure nine, that very first note in measure nine, we've got parentheses around that note. Uh, that means that's a tied note. That note's tied to the previous note, so it just continues to ring through without picking anything. Hope that makes sense. Pick, 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 let it ring into measure nine, and then... Measure nine, after that tied note, we got... We got a real quick pull off right there. See that one, that tiny one written in on the fourth string, pulling off to the open. Really hard to see, it's about halfway through measure nine. Uh, that's just a really quick pull off right there. Just like that. Might take a little bit of practice if you're not used to doing that. Um, let's play measures nine, or excuse me, measures eight and nine together to get a better feel for it. So that's what it should sound like. And when you're ready here, let's play this entire line one more time, measures five through nine. So here we go. One, two, three, four. So we're just about done here. We've got eight more measures left, but the uh, next part that we're about to learn, these next eight measures, we're gonna repeat a lot of the same type of melodies that we played you know, earlier, what we just learned. So not too much new to learn here, but we're gonna change it up every now and then to uh, give it a little bit different twist as we finish this progression. So here we go. Let's learn measures 10 through 12 now. It's the next line in the talent sheet. Sounds like this.